Hello everyone! Today, I'd like to share my recipe for this delicious milk bread. They are as soft as clouds, have a delicate sweetness, and a milky texture. Even beginners can succeed the first time. Stand mixer is definitely helpful for this recipe. Let's see how to make them. First, let's combine 250 gram of bread flour, 30 gram of sugar, 3 gram of instant yeast, 2 gram of salt, 1 egg, 120 milliliters of milk in a stand mixer mixing bowl. After adding all dry ingredients, give a gentle mix before adding egg and milk. I like to manually combine all ingredients until there is no more dry flour in the bowl before I start using my Kitchen Ed Professional 5 Plus Stem Mixer. After dough well combined, begin mixing at a low speed to form a dough. Then increase the speed to high until the dough can be pulled out into a rough film. So I'm using the Kitchen Ed Professional 5 Plus. I started at a speed 3 for 3 minutes to initially mix and combine the dough. Then I increase the speed to level 6 for another 3 minutes until the dough can be pulled out into a rough consistency. Something like this, it's perfect. Now this is a time to add in room temperature soft butter. Begin with a speed 8 for 5 minutes, then increase to speed 10 for an additional 3 minutes. During the mixing and the kneading process, you will need to pause a couple times to scrape off any sticky flour clinging to the side of the ball. This ensures that all the ingredients are well incorporated and the dough hook can grab and knead the entire dough evenly. After kneading at a speed 8 for 5 minutes, it's time to check the consistency of the dough. Take a small portion of the dough, gently pull it, and assess its texture. If the dough is still sticky on your hands, and when pulled open, appears about 80% transparent, but feels a little rough and not as smooth, then put it back into the bowl. Continue kneading at a speed 10 for an additional 3 minutes. This extra kneading time at a higher speed will further develop the gluten and help achieve a smoother and a more elastic dough consistency. The consistency that allows it to be stretched into a very transparent film, something like this. You should be able to see your fingers behind a thin layer of dough when you stretch it, and when the dough breaks, a very smooth edge appears around the break. This is a well-kneaded dough and ready for the next step, which is the first fermentation. Transfer dough on work surface using both hands to pull and tuck few times to shape into a ball. As you're shaping away, you will see the dough ball is gradually getting smoother. After shaping the dough ball, we'll cover the dough ball and leave it to rise until it doubles in size. This will usually take an about an hour to hour and a half, depending on the room temperature. In my case, with a room temperature of 32 Celsius, 89 Fahrenheit, this process took an hour and a half. Divide the dough into 8 portions. You are welcome to using kitchen scale if you like to be precise. We're going to use the same pulling and tuck ender technique to create 8 small dough balls. And I apologize for this part of film. I didn't realize it uh, wasn't being filmed how to create a small dough ball. But it's actually the same technique as we are forming a bigger dough ball earlier. Then cover them and start the second fermentation until doubled in size. And this time, preheat oven to 170 Celsius, 338 Fahrenheit. Second fermentation took only one hour. They look absolutely gorgeous. Dust the flour on the surface of each dough ball, then send it to oven. Spray water inside of oven as well as on surface of dough balls. Let it bake for 22 minutes. 
after 22 minutes, just take a look at those beautiful, cute little soft milk bread. You can imagine my kitchen smells incredible right now. Let me pull one open so you can see how fluffy and soft it is inside. I love spreading butter on freshly baked milk bread. It is so delicious. I can't stop eating it. Thanks for watching. I hope this recipe gets you started baking this lovely milk bread rolls. Bon appetit everyone. So delicious. I can't stop eating it. See you next time.